So, a couple weeks ago, I made a video about ugly avatar items. The items I talked about in that video were pretty ugly, but they were just salvageable enough for Roblox to publish them anyway. But what about the items they never publish? The Roblox wiki has a list of items whose meshes and textures were uploaded to the official Roblox account, but were never published as an actual item. We call these kinds of items cancelled items. There are many reasons why items can be cancelled. Could be that a better version was made, could be that the item was part of an event that fell through, or it could be that Roblox just didn't like the concept anymore. And as we've seen before, if a concept is too bad for even Roblox to appreciate, you know you're dealing with some pretty ugly stuff. So today we're going to be looking at and roasting quite literally the worst cancelled hat concepts that Roblox has ever created. Now unfortunately because these aren't real hats we can't really try them on, but luckily every item on the Roblox wiki's cancelled item list has links to its mesh and textures, so I put them into Roblox Studio and slap them onto dummy figures so we can see them in 3D and roast them to smithereens. So let's get started. Right, so first up we got the neon bling face cap. Firstly, terrible design, oh my god. No one knows what this face is except like top traders, I think, because it's like 60k wrap. So if you were to wear this in game or hell in real life, you'd probably get beaten up. And secondly, these these colors I, th I think we have to sue Roblox for because like they're brighter than the sun. I could stare at them and probably go blind. And I I'm positive that if you like stare into this bling face's eye, you're gonna get hypnotized or possibly lose your soul or both so uh shame on you bling face for sucking out people's souls and next up we have the friendly beast mode faces now i almost feel bad about trying to roast these guys because they, they're so happy but like almost i'm still gonna roast them the main appeal of beast modes is that they're scary and intimidating so why the hell are these happy like they're they're literally not doing the one thing that they're supposed to do they have one job and they're blowing it so hard and you know what that's pretty sad so for that you guys are on the list so here we have the messy emo hair i think you can tell what's wrong with this hat but i'm gonna spell it out for you anyway first of all wow what a screwed up mesh it's inside out is what this is it's, it's inside out it looks like a crappy ugc item and i don't know if you can tell but at some points you can see the mesh is kind of like split in two like right there and that's very bad and also this isn't messy or emo it's blonde and straight it looks more like a karen now here we have the dragon what's with roblox and being so like terrible at making dragons because like in the last video we had that chinese dragon that looked like a sixth grader tried to make homer simpson in arts and crafts class and now this one whoa what a flat head like, it's it's a pancake. It looks like a Goomba that got stepped on by Mario. It, it, it looks like it got smashed by a hydraulic press. All, all I know is this guy must be really good at social distancing because he is, like, so long that if he's less than six feet away from someone, he's gonna be kissing them. They're gonna get kissed by a dragon. Some people might be into that, but I'm not, so it's on the list. Now, this is the robot expose. You can see the face. It looks pretty bad. It's kind of, like, oversized. It's, it's black and white. But what if I were to tell you that that is not the face. This is the face. I have a Halloween mask, an orange and black Halloween mask hanging in my room right above my bed, and I can sleep at night, but if this were in my bed with its like blue glowing eyes and possessed mouth, then I, I probably, I, I would have to jump out the window. Like, it, it would be my only option. I refuse to acknowledge that this could have ever been a hat, because if I do, it's probably going to haunt me for the rest of my life. Alright, here we have the monster mouth cat. This is supposed to be a shoulder pet, I think? Why would anyone want this on their shoulder? This is like the one thing no one's ever asked for in a cat. Like, some people who aren't cat people, they, they mention things like, they're afraid they're gonna get scratched or they're too low energy or they're they're too small or, th or things like that but the one thing that no one has ever wanted to see in a cat to like make them not be afraid of cats is a giant mouth with lips and fangs like i know it's kind of supposed to be like that to make it like corny and stuff but wow i guess it's acceptable like as as long as i don't like look it in the mouth like ever so maybe just pet it from behind all the time but yeah unless i do that i'm not putting this on my shoulder anytime soon so now we're starting to get into the really ugly this is furious georgina when i saw this hat it instantly reminded me of like the, the mean top 10 moments before a disaster like we can all agree that this guy's about to have his head ripped off like that that monkey's not holding back like it has red bloodshot eyes that are crossed together and like 
I know those are supposed to be teeth, but it just looks like white foam coming out of its mouth. This monkey is like on every drug, and uh, this guy doesn't stand a chance. And he's probably gonna die, so I should probably get away from this item before that happens. Goodbye. And so now we're taking it a step further with the donkey. First of all, eyebrows. I could probably go on a hike in them and get lost because they're they're like a forest. They're they're so big and the the eyes. You cannot tell me that this donkey is not possessed. Finally, I feel really bad for whoever got to be this guy's dentist because those teeth, I, I could sleep on them. Like, they're the size of beds. This guy, this guy probably requires, like, one cleaning a week, and those gums, you can't tell me they're not disease. If this guy's dentist is out there watching this, uh, feel better, and I hope you get through your tough time. This is the husky, and like the beast modes, this is another one that I almost feel bad for making fun of because he's so derpy. Like, this, this is the derpiest hat that that I've ever seen on, on Roblox, hands down. And he he's so he looks so polite, but I, I got a clown on him for a bit because wow that texture. Like here's what I picture happening. So, some poor Roblox admin uh, takes his kid to bring your child to work day and they run out of things to do to keep the child entertained. So they're like, okay, honey, why don't you try making your own hat? And he, he makes this and he makes the texture in like Microsoft Paint. And that's this, That that's the only way this could be made because I, I can't see like an adult making this texture but yeah it's really cute and honestly my channel blows up I i'm thinking this is the mascot but we do have one more ugly original item for you so let's go take a look at that so the alien is without a doubt the worst item i have ever seen uploaded by roblox and honestly, I'm like, I'm a little bit skeptical that this might just be like a placeholder item that they just uploaded to test something out because like this can't be real. I, I don't understand how they thought this was going to be a good item, but it's like so specific that I, I think it actually might have been like a real concept they were toying around with. So first off, this man's skin it looks like it's metal and it's been in a river for 30 years. Looks like he's been dipped in rust and acid at the same time. Also, you couldn't have put a little bit more effort into the eyes and the mouth. These are basically just beans. Like I think I could open up Blender and make these like in 30 seconds. Like it's it's that easy. Like you can see inside and yeah, they're just like semicircles and then a bean. Th th this isn't an alien. This is just like an arts and crafts nightmare. I and I hate it so much. And it's it's the ugliest hat I've ever seen in my life. Now we're gonna take a look at some popular items versus their original concepts, the the cancelled concepts that Roblox threw out because they improved upon them. And so first up, to start things off light, we have the Peach Thug Shade. Now, these are the original Peach Thug Shades, and you know, they're they're pretty cool. They're like futuristic kind of, they're pretty like sleek. They're a very good item. I, I like them a lot. But now let's take a look at their original design. The original design looks like like a dollar store version of of the real ones. The, these look like a pair of glasses that your dad would pick up for like five bucks at a gas station and would use to mow the lawn all the time. Next up we have RB Adams Smokestack Top Hat. And so the, the main appeal of this one, if you don't know, is that it blows smoke particles up into the air. Also, every holiday it kind of like changes theme so yeah this hat is really like adaptive and cool and uh people love it a lot but let's take a look at what it was originally going to be there's no personality here it's just it's it's boring it's disappointing it's really short and th this there's no smoke particles you can you as you can see the smoke is meshed it, it's really really bad i swear if it were released in this state it would have like one wrap today so now we have a classic on roblox the valkyrie helm a lot of people love Love this because it's classic and it's discreet and it's sleek and it makes you look rich and all of those things combined to make a very good hat but what I'm about to show you is actually a Valk 2.0 concept that they were like toying around with uploading to the catalog and we're glad they didn't but th th this is what they were considering guys <laughs> it <laughs> It trashes on what the on the charm of the original Valk because 
this looks like it, it, they were trying too hard and they, it didn't look good. It's smaller and it, it's photorealistic, so it looks like an Indian headpiece that you would see on um, the, like, the lead character of a racist school play from the 80s wearing. I know what they were trying to do, but they, they just kind of failed. It almost looks like that fake Valk that poor people like to make with like the, the blue plastic crown and the feathers. Like, I, I really can't stand to look at it. So now we have the Sparkle Time Classic Pumpkin Head. So I'd say this is a big improvement over the regular classic one because, you know, it's like Sparkle Time, which is a really good texture. I love the Sparkle Time stuff. And also, it has particles. It's got like these cool ghost things. But what they were originally planning on doing with it is so bad. <laughs> what is this? It look the, the green stem on top, it, it looks like a children's toy or, or like a crank that you would use to like to, to like start it up like it's an old car or something. The original classic pumpkin head mesh was just fine. I don't know why they tried to remesh it like this because th this looks awful. And also, you might have noticed, it doesn't have any particles on it. So that's also a big downside to this. And overall, it's just really sucky. And I'm glad they came to their senses and used the original classic mesh. And so now we're getting into the real Really ugly ones. This is the Bronze Roblox Music Video Award, and it was given for getting a uh, third place in an old music contest called the Roblox Rox Music Video Contest. And you know, it's it's kind of like a participation trophy because like 740 players were awarded it. But if I got the original design <laughs> as a participation trophy, th that's that's not a trophy that you give for participating. That that's a trophy you give the kid in the back of the class who did no work. Like. If, if I got this from a judge for, like, trying my best and, like, not winning but still participating, I, I think I would have to fist fight the judge. Like, that that would be my only option in that situation. I, I would have to throw hands with the judge. It's, it's just bad. Now, the last hat that we're taking a look at is Cthulhu. Now, if you don't know, if you're, if you're a little bit too young to know this, Cthulhu is supposed to be, like, an ancient old god that people, like, sacrifice to. So, you know, he's supposed to be intimidating and powerful. He, he looks like kind of like a squid, and they, they didn't do a bad job of uh, making Cthulhu with this hat that they did release. But the version that they didn't release <laughs> oh boy the original one looked like a squid this one looks like a, a shrimp its head is like weirdly small and its eyes are just like glaringly red looks like they were made in microsoft paint in like two seconds and those tentacles squids don't have four tentacles what were you thinking like this is this is just all around bad like i i I'm gonna give this the edge in most ugly uh original design over bronze robux music video award but yeah that was Th that was pretty close. Like, I, I don't think, I don't know why they were considering making this. This this just sucks in every conceivable way. Now, as you can see by the fact that there is still some more time left in the video, there is one more thing I want to show you guys. So, boom! Good items we could have had. You thought this was going to be a roasting video? Well, you were wrong. It's turning into a compliments video, baby. Let's go. We got the Sparkle Time bath helm. We got the purple version of Clockwork headphones. What? We got eight ball, not nine ball headphones. Whoa, why do they say eight? Oh, man, that's kind of weird. But oh, we got the cold gold headphones. Drippy as hell. And we got the gold Roblox visor. Everyone would love to have that in 2018. We got the American Bloxy Cola hat. Uh, guaranteed to give you fresh American Boxer Cola 24-7. We got the blue steel skull. We got the Zanwood and black shaggies. Whoa, where have those been all my life? We got two retextures of the W shades. We got the angel of death. Whoa, how intimidating. We got the rock demon, which is actually not a retexture. It's an original design, but I still think it's cool as hell. It's kiss. It's a robot. What more do you need? We got the Zanwood shutter shades. We got the midnight motor shutter shades. We got the giant Zanwood wing. Whoa, those would be awesome to have. We got the crown domino, an inverted version of the domino crown. You know that's epic. We got the core blocks wrath. We got the rainbow eye. So good, so good. We got the shadow guardia. We got the snowman teapot. American 8-bit patriotism. We got the crystal skull, named after the worst Indiana Jones movie. We got the pear. We got the watermelon. We got the strawberry. So meany. We got continuations of old dead texture series like Omega Rainbow Beanie and Black Iron Hammer and Black Iron Mr. Quackers. Whoa, this thing looks smooth. We got the colorful katana crown, which is kind of sitting weirdly on this guy's head, but whoa, we got the Adurite bucket hat, drippy as hell. And whoa, we got a lost entry in the Immortal Sword series. 
This looks a lot better than some of the Immortal Swords that already exist on the catalog. And we got a Lost Century in the Portrait of a Hero in Roblox DS series. We got Federation items, are you kidding me? Lady of the Federation, Earl of the Federation, so good. We got a Lost Sparkle Time item, hello. And we have a Lost Party Queen item, which is better than some of the Party Queens that exist on the catalog today. We got an American King of the Night, and we got Azure Wrath Lord of Fear, which in my opinion absolutely smashes Crimson Wrath Lord of Entropy. Did you think we did not have Lost Fedoras? Well, we have Lost Fedoras. We have the Giraffe Fedora. We have the Wan with Sparkle Time Fedora. We have the Matt Time Fedoras, which look like Sparkle Time Fedoras, except less cool. But hey, they would probably be cheap alternatives to Sparkle Time Fedoras, so you know your boy would want to cop some. We got Skater Caps. We got... 4th of July skater cap, we got two, two textures of the green star tail slide. We got one that looks foresty, we got one that looks starry. We got the eerie baseball cap, whoa. We got inverted Valkyrie, I guess we already have red Valkyrie, but this looks even cooler than red Valkyrie. We have a gold version of the red spy bot, it's the gold spy bot. We got this unnamed blue Dominus, we got Dominus and Noctis, everyone's favorite Dominus. We got Red Cliff Dominus, Easter Dominus, Halloween Dominus, I know they already have Dominus from Midgelosis, but this looks more epic. We have the Gooseman Axe top hat, we have the Midnight top hat, we got the white and red top hat, which looks kind of like a top hat that I'm hoping to get one day. We have the Bombastic Classic top hat, we have a bucket, the Space Bucket. We have so many items that Roblox could have published to the catalog and didn't, and honestly, this is making me a little nostalgic, so if you don't mind, let me cut to a bit of a montage.